Here at the Bet Victor Welsh Open, where Jordan Brown has just booked a place in the semi final with a thrilling 5 4 win over Mark Selby. We saw you punch in the air there, Jordan. Just tell us how you're feeling right now. Uh, over and a moon. Uh, it's just been years of hard work has finally come off uh, for this one moment, you know, and uh, I know it's not over yet. You know, I've got a semi final to look forward to tomorrow, but for now, it's, you know, it's just the, the feeling I have inside is just relief more than anything, you know, but to finally. Uh, prove myself against one of the top players, you know, I feel like I've achieved massive things there today. It was a real nip and tuck game. You seem to have your nose in front sort of throughout the match, yeah. but they're exactly the kind of matches that Mark Selby tends to win, aren't they? Yeah, um, he's he's just hard as nails, you know, he makes it so hard for you, you know, he, he's just so granite. Um, but yeah, that, that's I was aware of his reputation, you know, like making it hard for you, you know, but listen, uh, all I had to concentrate on was myself, and uh, I feel like I handled it pretty well there. He certainly did, and he missed the black to the middle pocket in that deciding frame. Had you written the game off at that point? Did, did you think he, yeah. he's going to knock that in and win the frame? Yeah, he left me a tough safety. I was just trying to bank it on the side cushion, and I left it short. I sort of double-kissed it. That's why I left it uh, sort of over the middle, but them shots aren't easy across the nap. Um, I still fancy them to get it, though, but whenever he missed it, it was like, you know, just compose yourself and make sure you give the black everything because even though it looked an easy shot, it certainly didn't feel like it. You reached your first ranking event quarter final at the German Masters um, just last month. You've reached the semi final here. You almost lost your tour card last season. What's made a difference? Can you put your finger on something that's, that's changed in the way you're playing, the way you're approaching the game? Um, just hard work. Um, just, I've, I've always believed in myself. Um, but coming into this season, you know, coming off the back of the crucible, it was important to me to, you know, carry on, you know, at the back of the crucible, you know, make sure it was no fluke. Uh, I've been very consistent, and yeah, I've just just hard work more than anything else. So uh, it's finally all coming together. Stephen Maguire next in tomorrow's semi-final, a player you know very well, yeah. um, a player that you've you've never beaten. However, the, the way that you're playing at the moment, you must go into that match with some real confidence. Yeah, of course I do. Um, Stephen's a good pal of mine off the table. Um, he's he's a great player. He'd be the first to admit he's probably underachieved in his career. Um, but listen, it's going to be a tough match. The semi-final, it's, it doesn't get much harder than this. But um, I've really, I'm really real co good confidence in myself. And uh, yeah, just hopefully it carries carry it forward to tomorrow. Yeah. You've had four consecutive deciding frame wins. Would you take another tomorrow? I'd take a 6-5 in the black. So as long as I get the six first. Fantastic. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, John. Thanks, Phil.